So culture war is one of the greatest kind of misnomers in American politics. And that's because even if we go back decades and decades before Ron DeSantis's kind of targeting, targeting of uh, queer people and trans people in the state of Florida while pursuing kind of plutocratic politics and the destruction of unions kind of more generally, we see that trend all the way back at least to the 1970s in California, where you had a very similarly kind of fundamentally anti-labor, anti-working class state senator named John Briggs. And he thought it would be a great way to divide the working class by passing this uh, ballot initiative uh, that would have barred gay and lesbian teachers from working in public schools. And unions across California, uh, many of which were not exactly run by the most queer friendly people in the world. I think this was before we had kind of queer caucuses and rich representation in these unions. They realized that an injury to one was an injury to all, and they knew what John Briggs was doing here. And they successfully thwarted and beat back that ballot initiative. 